Hello there, Grumpy Old Fart here. Um, I'm doing an unexplained phenomena video. An unexplained phenomena video of the Ural nanostructures. And I, I, I read about this and it struck me as <sighs> intriguing because we're taught one thing in anthropology and in archaeology and this literally flies in the face of it. There was a geological research mission into the Ural Mountains uh, in Russia and ostensibly they were looking for gold but they ended up finding something very peculiar. Um, found a bunch of pieces. Okay, These pieces recovered are coils, spirals, and shafts. The largest pieces are made of copper, the smaller pieces are tungsten and molybdenum. Extensive research at the Russian Academy of Science has concluded that they are not natural formations. They were, in fact, manufactured. According to Dr. E.W., let me get this name right, Dr. E.W. Matveyeva, M-A-T-V-E-Y-E-V-A, Matveyeva, of the Section for Geology, Prospecting Techniques, and Economics of Precious Metal Alluvial Deposits. That's a hell of a, hell of a title there. Uh, the Section for Geology, Prospecting Techniques, and Economics of Precious Metal Alluvial Deposits. According to this doctor, E.W. Medveyeva, the layers where these pieces were found dates them between 100,000 and 300,000 years old. So, <clears throat> this is what they're saying. Sometime back between 100,000 and 300,000 years ago, someone with technological capabilities constructed these sophisticated nanostructures. That's just ridiculous. Mainstream archaeology and anthropology says that 100,000 years ago, Homo sapiens had just appeared and they were just learning how to nap flint to make sharp blades. And this just blows it out of the water. Uh, something definitely does not add up. There was a man named uh, Michael Cremo, Dr. Michael Cremo. He wrote a book called Forbidden Archaeology and he talks about different different things that are being found at depths that it shouldn't be there uh, where where ancient technology human beings developing a lot earlier than what we're told and this flies right into that because 300,000 years ago 100,000 years ago even there was no way anybody could have made these parts. Um, you need sophisticated machining equipment for this. This isn't some guy sitting there carving, you know, honing with a with a with a file or something. No, this is they were manufactured on a, on a on a machine. And a hundred thousand years ago, these machines didn't exist. Uh, the blades that I've seen from a hundred thousand years ago didn't even have handles. They were, they were pieces of flint. You held them like this, and the blade was down here. I mean, these. <clears throat> what they're saying, the people that did this, were advanced, highly advanced. We we can make stuff like that today, but we need specialized CNC equipment and things like that. There's a lot of different authors out there who are uh, researchers who are finding machined items I did another video uh, ancient machining uh, machining techniques in ancient Egypt or something along those lines you can check that out um, there's a number of different researchers who are finding that they can't all be making it up they can't all be wrong these people are learned they graduated from high school from 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 high school and then from college they've got advanced degrees they can't all be wrong my point is what we're being told isn't always accurate and rather than fix the timeline in other words you know okay we were wrong about this let's go back and take another look at it mainstream archaeology won't even listen to it it's crap but there it is and it makes you wonder what else we're not being told
or what else that they got wrong and they're not willing to admit to. It's like the 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 what was it the, the mastodon where they found they had fossilized bones and inside they had soft tissue which shouldn't have existed. Hey, hey, hey. My, we're not being told everything. That's all I'm saying. You folks have a good day. God bless one and all.